In mathematics, a quasi-convex function is a real-valued function defined on an interval or on a convex subset of a real vector space such that the inverse image of any set of the form is a convex set. Informally, along any stretch of the curve the highest point is one of the endpoints. The negative of a quasi-convex function is said to be quasi-concave. All convex functions are also quasi-convex, but not all quasi-convex functions are convex, so quasi-convexity is a generalization of convexity. Quasi-convexity and quasi-concavity extend to functions with multiple arguments the notion of unimodality of functions with a single real argument. Definition and properties a function defined on a convex subset S of a real vector space is quasi-convex if for all and we have in words. If F is such that it is always true that a point directly between two other points does not give a higher value of the function than both of the other points do, then F is quasi-convex. Note that the points X and Y, and the point directly between them, can be points on a line or more generally points in n-dimensional space. An alternative way of defining a quasi-convex function is to require that each sublevel set is a convex set. If furthermore for all in, then is strictly quasi-convex. That is, strict quasi-convexity requires that a point directly between two other points must give a lower value of the function than one of the other points does. A quasi-concave function is a function whose negative is quasi-convex and a strictly quasi-concave function is a function whose negative is strictly quasi-convex. Equivalently a function is quasi-concave if and strictly quasi-concave if a quasi-convex function has convex lower contour sets, while a quasi-concave function has convex upper contour sets. A function that is both quasi-convex and quasi-concave is quasi-linear. A particular case of quasi-concavity, if, is unimodality, in which there is a locally maximal value. Applications Quasi-convex functions have applications in mathematical analysis, in mathematical optimization, and in game theory and economics. Mathematical optimization in nonlinear optimization. Quasi-convex programming studies iterative methods that converge to a minimum for quasi-convex functions. Quasi-convex programming is a generalization of convex programming. Quasi-convex programming is used in the solution of surrogate dual problems, whose visuals provide quasi-convex closures of the primal problem, which therefore provide tighter bounds than do the convex closures provided by Lagrangian dual problems. In theory, quasi-convex programming and convex programming problems can be solved in reasonable amount of time, where the number of iterations grows like a polynomial in the dimension of the problem. However, such theoretically efficient methods use divergent series step size rules, which were first developed for classical subgradient methods. Classical subgradient methods using divergent series rules are much slower than modern methods of convex minimization, such as subgradient projection methods, bundle methods of descent, and non-smooth filter methods, economics and partial differential equations, minimax theorems in microeconomics, quasi-concave utility functions imply that consumers have convex preferences. Quasi-convex functions are important also in game theory, industrial organization, and general equilibrium theory, particularly for applications of science minimax theorem. Generalizing a minimax theorem of John von Neumann, science theorem is also used in the theory of partial differential equations. Preservation of quasi-convexity. Operations preserving quasi-convexity non-negative weighted maximum of quasi-convex functions. Composition with a non-decreasing function. Minimization. Operations not preserving quasi-convexity The sum of quasi-convex functions defined on the same domain need not be quasi-convex. In other words, if a quasi-convex, then need not be quasi-convex. The sum of quasi-convex functions defined on different domains need not be quasi-convex. 
Such functions are called additively decomposed in economics and separable in mathematical optimization. Examples Every convex function is quasi-convex. A concave function can be quasi-convex function. For example is concave, and it is quasi-convex. Any monotonic function is both quasi-convex and quasi-concave. More generally, a function which decreases up to a point and increases from that point on is quasi-convex. The floor function is an example of a quasi-convex function that is neither convex nor continuous. If and a positive convex decreasing functions, then is quasi-convex.